So the next one in commercial plant breeding is advances in hybrid seed production of sorghum crop. So basically sorghum is a self-pollinated crop but there are exceptions. In some normal varieties the cross pollination can range from 8 to 10 percentage and also and in varieties with loose panicles the cross pollination can be up to 50 percentage. So sorghum can also be uh, in many circumstances it can behave as an often cross pollinated crop. And for hybrid seed production we are using CGMS that is cytoplasmic genic male sterility and the CMS source the cytoplasmic male sterile source is from an is from a wild abortive species called combined kaffir. So as it is a CGMS, we can also call it as a three-line breeding system as it involves A line, that is your male sterile line, B line, your maintainer line, and R line, our restorer line. So there are two steps in hybrid seed production. The first one is the maintenance of parental lines, and the second one is the commercial hybrid seed production. So now the first step that is the maintenance of parental lines so it can also be referred as the foundation seed production. So for here maintaining the A line or our male sterile line the A line is crossed with the B line. So when we cross A line with B line we get one F1 which is just exactly as similar to our A line. So this is the principle here. So here the isolation distance maintained is 300 meters when the parental lines uh, has to be separated from other varieties of sorghum then we need to follow a distance of 300 meter. If there is a uh, in vicinity if there is some Johnson grass and Sudan grass or any other forage type grasses we need to maintain a isolation distance of 400 meters. Now coming to the planting ratios between this A line and B line that is A is to B is 4 is to 2 ratio so we will be growing 4 rows of A line and 2 rows of B line which can be added with uh, 4 to 6 border rows of B line plant. So if we give uh, an additional 4 to 6 border rows of B line it will ensure more number of pollens that are being fertilizing this A line or your female lines. So again coming to seed harvesting. So we have to always remove the male lines first that is our B line and then we have to harvest the seeds from the female lines that is our A line. So regarding the maintenance of B and R line, so these lines can be maintained as if it is a normal variety. So we are, doesn't require any special maintenance procedures, we can just maintain it as if it is a normal sorghum variety. But only thing is that we have to follow both field and isolation standards which are moreover similar to that of the maintenance of A line. So now coming to the second step that is commercial hybrid seed production. So it can also be referred as certified seed production. So here the A line is crossed with the R line or our restorer line to produce hybrid seeds. So here the isolation distance requirement is 200 meters if it is from other varieties of sorghum and it can uh, there should be a minimum distance of 5 meters from the same male parents and again a 400 meter isolation distance from uh, Johnson grass, Sudan grass and other forage type grasses. Now coming to the planting ratio between A line and R line it is again 4 is to 2 and we can add it up with border rows of 4 to 6 border rows of R lines to increase the pollen supply. Again the seed harvesting it is as discussed earlier we have to remove the male lines first here it is the R line so we have to remove that first and then we have to harvest the seeds from A line which is our female lines. So this is just uh, done to avoid any sort of contaminations. Now coming to the advances in hybrid seed production there are ma mainly five points that we are going to discuss. The first one is staggered sowing. Here we are given we have given an example for an hybrid CSH5. It is a sorghum hybrid. So for this produ production of CSH5 seeds, the female parents are sown earlier than their male parents, uh, approximately around 10 to 15 days earlier than their male parents to synchronize the flowering. Now again, 
coming to the second point that is adjustment of flowering date so we can adjust the flowering date uh, by simple cultural practices if the difference between the male and female parent the flowering difference between the male and female parent is only less than a week then we can go for some simple cultural practices if it is beyond the one week limit then we have to apply some chemicals uh, we can have we have to spray some chemicals to uh, delay or advance the flowering so if you are uh, dealing with advancing parents or the parents that uh, show early flowering we have to spray 500 ppm of malic hydrocele or 300 ppm of psychosel this will lead to the delay in flowering and again if we are uh, dealing with lagging parents or late flowering ones we have to spray one percentage of urea solution two to three times at two to three days interval if this is done it could lead to early flowering so these are some advanced uh, methods to adjust flowering date now the third point is adjustment of our irrigation schedule if we can withhold one irrigation in advancing parent it will delay the flowering and if you are going to give an additional irrigation it can also lead to early flowering the fourth one is prehydration sowing so we can soak the lagging parent seeds in water for 12 hours and sow in the field which leads to early flowering the fifth one is blowing air we can blow air by an empty duster with the nozzle directed, directed horizontally towards the male lines this will help in disseminating the pollens and increase the seed set the increase the percentage of pollination thereby it will increase the hybrid seed set percentage so that's all about uh, the advances in hybrid seed production of sorghum so see you in next lecture thank you